Hey guys, I hope you're having a really wonderful day. All right, today we're making little trailer cards. Oh, so cute. Um, I really like doing the themed things because then you get two cards, kind of a fun little theme, kind of go with. All right, so the first card we're using, of course, this adorable trailer paper. Look how cute this is with the little flamingos. Oh, so fun. All right, and you have all the fun little trailers. The back side is just kind of these little fun borders. You can cut stuff out and make little cards from that. All right, so what we're going to do here, um, we've got a couple little things going on. So we have this fun glittery ribbon. Oh, I love this. And then this fun kind of bright red paper. I love this kind of fun kind of vintage bright color palette. It almost reminds me of like a 1950s, I guess, because of the flamingos. I, maybe I'm just like totally off, but that's just kind of the vibe I'm, I'm getting. All right. So it says, hello friend. It's so cute from the tailored expressions, um, stamp set, which I love. So we're going to go ahead and just mount the little hello friend there onto the piece of red paper. Hold on. Just a moment. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys are like, I'm way ahead of you. I've already done it. Oh, lovely. My glue is, uh, no, my glue is clogged because I've refilled it with a different kind of glue. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and do the, hello friends, you have a little cute little border. All right. So the idea with this is that this is going to go right here. Um, and then like in the middle on the top of the ribbon, but first we're going to tie a little bow in the ribbon. So you can, there are a couple different ways to do this. You can tie a bow actually in the middle of your ribbon and oops, tie that tight. And then you can actually wrap that around your card and then adhere that in, in place like so, which is actually kind of cute. You get a different kind of a look for the ribbon when you do this, but it's kind of fun. And then we're going to mount our little hello friend on the side of there. So you can kind of see how that looks. Okay. So it's just a little, a little different than your classic kind of bow, but then, you know, you don't have your little pieces kind of dangling off or of course the more traditional way is to wrap this around, bring it to the front. But of course there's just barely enough here, but it will work. Tie a cute little bow. And then got the little tails. So that is just another way to do that. Now, if you do it this way, you of course have to deal with the fact that the little tails will be going to be upside down, which might be a little annoying. That might be a little bit annoying to me personally. What if I can flip that one? Oh, I can flip that one. Let's see if I can flip this one. No, don't pull. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use my scissors to pull on this ribbon. Nice tool to have available to me. All right. Oh, that's not going to flip for me. All right. I'm going to do it the other way. All right. So again, we're just going to tie a bow here in the middle. Wrap that around. It's helpful if it will just stay in place for me. We want to go, um, so it's the turquoise or the light turquoise side up. So then we're going to tuck around so that the glitter side comes through. Okay, and then I'm going to use some glue here. Oh, lovely. I left my lid off again. I should have brought my double sided tape home, but I didn't today. All right. Soon we're going to be doing these at the store. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. So then I'm doing a little line of glue there. Then I'm going to stick my little ribbon here. Again, we're going to kind of stick this so it's on the right hand side. Just gonna hold that in place for just about 10 seconds. Though I'm impatient, so it's probably gonna be less than 10 seconds. Who are we kidding? Sorry, it's me. Okay. Then I'm gonna flip that over, do some more glue on the back side. Oh, just a bit 
too much ripping here. Might actually be able to cut off because there's quite a bit of excess if you do that and you can use that for another project. All right, then you can put glue on all four sides here, all the way around. And we're gonna mount that on the front of our card. Make sure you mount it in a way that the um, trailers are upright, but then your card opens correctly. You don't wanna glue that upside down. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue on the hello friend right on top of the ribbon. And, or you can use some double-sided tape. Um, and once you adhere it onto that double-sided or onto that ribbon there, what's going to happen is it's going to be kind of a little bit raised up, which is perfect because it adds just a little tiny bit of dimension, which I just love with that. It's worked out nicely, kind of gives it a nice pop. You can kind of make your bow a little bit more loopy there if you'd like. All right, so now we're going to get to our little trailer and our cute little sign. <clears throat> so, if you have a little pen, I'm happy to have a green gel pen here. It's a green pen of some kind will work. You can write a fun little message inside your sign. I'm going to write, this says, hello friends. I'm going to write, miss you. Mm, this is a glittery gel pen. Just have, have it laying around. Eh, that's green. It's kind of fun. It says, miss you. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut this out. Yes, I'm fussy cutting. All right. Okay. All right, now the little trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of watercolor on that. Now, I want to kind of go in kind of the tones I've already kind of got going on here in the colors of the card. So I'm probably gonna work in most likely like the light blue kind of pink tones, if I were to guess. I'm just gonna squirt out a little bit of water there, squirt out some water there. I don't have my spray bottle here with me. Uh, one day we will be at this. I will do these at the store again. It'll be so much easier. All right, so I'm gonna paint my little window blue. I'm gonna paint this little little shutters here blue too. A little propane tank. Is that what this is? It's probably supposed to be white, but I'm doing it blue anyway. All right, then I'm gonna do a cute little pink window here. Did you notice that the wheel has a little heart in it? It's so cute. The little wheelbase. Isn't that adorable? I thought that was pretty fun. All right. Now, if you don't have um, watercolors, you can use colored pencils. You can even use, you know, um, like some pastel colored markers. That would also certainly work. Oh, and I think I'll probably do a little bit of green. All right, I'm keeping it funky here. All right, and then on the sign here, you can keep that white if you'd like. I'm gonna add just a tiny little bit of color. I think probably, I really wanna add brown is the thing. So like maybe if you're gonna add any color, maybe like a little bit of light gray. I'm just gonna do it on the sides, just so that it adds just a tiny bit of color, but we don't necessarily have to do where the word is because we don't wanna mess that up. Okay, all right. Now, once your little trailer has dried, or mostly dried, we're gonna go ahead and cut that, cut that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm not gonna bother trying to fussy cut all the little insides of those little loops. I'm just gonna leave those white and allow, around the little tire there, around the outside here on the little propane tank or whatever that is. You guys are like, oh, Ellie, don't you know that's a fill in the blank? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. All right. Okay, so we've got our cute little trailer. Isn't that adorable? And then the little miss you sign. Oh, so cute. All right, so those are gonna go on the inside of the card. Maybe where you might, might write your message. All right. 
And then um, for your little message, oh, oh actually I'm going to put my little miss you kind of right here next to the little trailer. Or I guess you could always kind of stick it farther out if you wanted. I kind of want to kind of tuck it behind the trailer because that's kind of cute. All right. Okay, so there we have our cute little card. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's so cute. All right, so um, you can also put your little, I guess it's too late now, but you can always put your little things on the backside. I'm gonna say for writing your message inside, you can use a white gel pen. You can also use a black gel pen. A black pen will show up no problem. Um, but if you are worried about the contrast, especially if you're giving a card to an older person, um, you can just take a little um, piece of white paper um, and write your message on it and then fold it up and tuck it inside. Sometimes that's kind of fun too. Um, if you, you know, if you folded it in half, you can put a little bit of glue in the middle so then that way it kind of sticks in the card. You have your message, but then as they fold back, they have the cute little icon on the inside. Um, but if you just tuck a piece of paper in and um, leave it inside, they can reuse the card and give it um, to someone else, which I've seen a lot of people do. Um, it's just kind of an interesting way to pass on a handmade card. Um, a lot of people always want to save a handmade card, or I've had lots of people say, oh, my friends always keep my handmade cards. I love that. So amazing. It just absolutely touches my heart when people say that. I'm like, what? You saved it? Especially if you've made the card especially for someone. I mean, I would want someone to keep something I made especially for them anyway um but if you're making if you have like a bunch of cards and it's like one that you thought was really cool and you're like oh I don't necessarily want to write into it or I, I might want to pass that on just know that it is totally appropriate um to write a message and on a piece of white paper or even type it up and put it on the inside of a card too so I'm just letting you know as a little add-on all right on to the next card I love these little trailers it's so cute see you in a second 